Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching. My name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. Today's video is a rather interesting one, and it actually has to do with the Bioshock movie, and why it was cancelled according to the director himself, Gore Verbinski. If you want to check out any of the articles, because there were a couple that were written, I'm personally using Screen Rants. There will be links in the description if you'd like to check them out. If you want to see more Bioshock videos in the future, would you kindly hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications to never miss a future video or a future live stream. So with that all being said and done, let's hop into the video. So, why the Bioshock movie was cancelled, according to director Gore Verbinski. After a few years in tumultuous development, otherwise known as development hell, the Bioshock movie fell through, and Gore Verbinski has shared why he thinks it happened that way. Gore Verbinski knows why his Bioshock movie was cancelled after a couple years in troubled development, and regrets the time spent going back and forth on it. The project, based on the first Bioshock, was announced back in 2009, and spent two to three years in development hell before ultimately being dropped. At one point, former fresh-faced roommates Eddie Redman and Jamie Dornan were competing for the lead role. Unfortunately, those days are long gone, and Verbinski's vision is also gone with it. The original Bioshock was a universally loved masterpiece, reinventing the first-person shooter with a unique blend of atmospheric survival horror and deeply impactful narrative. The game itself was an ambitious gamble, but it paid off, and the movie was fast-tracked to coincide with the eventual release of what would become Bioshock Infinite. Verbinski was directed and attached to directing after his extraordinary success with The Pirates of the Caribbean though he dropped out of directing to instead exclusively produce in August of 2009. As per a script leaked to a birth.movies.death writer last year, the movie would have been pretty faithful to the game, with an emphasis on the brutality of the narrative. Ultimately, that seems to have been its downfall. In a recent interview with Collider, Verbinski shared his thoughts on what happened to kill the Bioshock movie. According to him, it was the ambition of a project so expensive and yet so brutal. Quote, It was talked about as one movie, and it was very strange. My first meeting at Universal on Bioshock was sitting in a room and saying, Hey guys, this is a $200 million R-rated movie. And it was silent. I remember my agent going, Why did you say that? I'm like, Because it is. Why even try to kill a movie you haven't even started? That's before getting a script or anything. I just wanted to be clear, and I think everyone at the studio was like, well, yeah, okay, maybe. Wow, no. It's big. We know. Verbinski goes on to describe the process that followed, which was an exhausting back and forth of debating the risk of making an R-rated video game movie for so much money. In the early 2010s, there was no Deadpool yet, and there were no successful video game movies. Even the MCU was a basic microchasm of what the absolute monster is now. Verbinski mentions Zack Snyder's Watchmen, which was effectively the industry's lim litmus test, sorry, at the time for big budget R-rated, quote unquote, nerd culture movies. It had barely broke even, like actually losing money after marketing and distribution. So the likelihood of a studio taking another massive risk and an even less stable genre was never likely. However, that was a different time. Bioshock has remained an iconic property, with a new game coming out at some point in the relatively near future. It's also a better time for potentially risky R-rated movies, thanks to the industry ceilings broken by superhero and video game movies in the last 10 years or so. Verbinski has said before that he'd be willing to take another crack at it, so, maybe there's room in the cultural lexicon for a Bioshock movie to come out just in time for the new game. So ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching, as I always ask, let me know what you think and what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Obviously, for me as big of a fan as I am of the series, I would love, absolutely love, to see either a Bioshock movie 
or a Bioshock series, but it has to be rated R. It cannot be PG-13 or anything below R, obviously, because you will not be able to grasp what Rapture and what Bioshock is and was without that R rating. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I would very much appreciate that. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, would you kindly drop a like on the video? If not, you can drop a dislike. It's completely okay. Just let me know what I can do in the future to make videos better for you. If you're new here or just haven't hit subscribe yet and enjoyed it and want to see more, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, turn on all post notifications to never miss a future video or a future live stream, and if you want to talk to me outside of YouTube or just stay up to date with me on anything in general, my social medias are the best ways to do so, which will be linked in the description for all of you down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. With that being said, take care, stay safe, and I will talk to you all in the next video.